Today I will be showing you how to make Stevie's lemon blueberry pancake recipe. Thanks for tuning in. So first you need Krusty's light and fluffy buttermilk complete pancake mix. The one where you just add water. That's the one I got. Next, you need powdered sugar. It doesn't matter what kind of brand. Powdered sugar, because I'm going to be mixing lemons. I'm going to cut up lemons and mix the lemons with the powdered sugar, and that's going to replace the maple syrup that people usually eat with their pancakes. That's why it's my special recipe. Thank you. And the core ingredients are lemons, the powdered sugar, and blueberries. What we have to do here is we're going to squeeze the lemons in to the powdered sugar and make our own lemon glaze syrup mixture that's going to replace your typical maple syrup and I'm going to choose to leave the blueberries outside of the pancake batter uh, so I, I just think it's fresher that way to eat it like that. I don't like it when it's cooked inside the pancake itself. So yeah, I'll get to that. We also need butter to put onto the pan and to top our pancake as well as two third cup a two-third cup of water to mix with Krusty's pancake mix. Thank you. You also need a measuring cup. I just got this one at the grocery store because I didn't have one. So the secret to the recipe is squeezing these lemons in to the powdered sugar and mixing it up. And that's going to create our syrup slash like glaze, okay? I'm going to do that because um, I can't use uh, do it at the same time. So I'm going to actually squeeze the lemons into the powdered sugar. And then I'll show you the how I mix it. Okay. All right. So what I just did is I squeezed the lemons that were on the right hand side of the powdered sugar into the powdered sugar to make our syrup. So I go here and you just mix it. Okay. And there you go. I know it looks it doesn't look that great. If you want to if you want if you don't want the seeds in it, um you could just replace the seeds with um lemon juice. You know, it's probably easier that way. I was actually thinking about doing that, but I'm doing it the, the original way. Okay, so there you go. That's going to be, and this is just for me. That's why you can, if you want to, if you have more than one person you want to do this for, just double the amount, buy two or three or four lemons and add more powdered sugar, okay? There you go. So that is going to replace our syrup because I'm going to eat maybe one or two right now because I it's two in the morning. There you go. There you go. That is our lemon glaze slash slash uh, syrup. Sorry, I had a tongue twister there. Let's say hi to the reptilian and Ray. Welcome to Little Ray's World Show. So the next step is to get one cup of Krusty's Buttermilk Complete Pancake Mix, right? And add two-third cup of water and mix it up. And that's going to be our Krusty's uh, buttermil Buttermilk Pancake Mix. <laughs> My apologies, I didn't have a whisk. And also, I did not have a silver, like, mixing bowl. So I had to do what I had to do so I used my just my uh, silver uh, saucer pan and so there's my mix I already mixed it with the fork and I'm just gonna now it's the final process to uh, 
make the pancakes and uh, add the toppings um, after, especially that lemon glaze syrup and the blueberries. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get going on the pancakes. So I just stuck two butters, pieces of butter in the pan before I add the pancake mix. So I just added two sticks of butter in the pan. It melted already. And now we're gonna start making our pancake. There you go. I haven't done this in a while, but usually um, we'll have to feel it out maybe on a lower heat and then once it starts getting bubbles in there that's when you could turn it yeah we'll just kind of wing it all right see how the bubbles are getting in there I'll be back once I flip it, all right? See, the bubbles are coming. All right, so I just flipped it, and as you can see, it's golden brown. Um, I forgot the spatula. Yeah, you add it. You actually need a spatula. You don't even need a whisk. You can use a fork, but you definitely need a spatula. But so it's all on preference. If you want yours, a lot, a lot of people like to eat their pancakes more burnt or uh, yeah, cook well. But I like, I like my pancake kind of in between. Okay. Let's see here. See? Yeah, it's almost there. All right. So here's your final result. We got a, I know the pancake ain't the best, but the next one will be better. It'll be more circular. But we have, um, yeah, that's our blueberries. I put a stick of butter on there and then we're gonna add that to that. And there you go. That's my recipe. There, there you go. That's a Stevie's lemon blueberry pancake recipe. Try it at home. Tell me what you think. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time. I got up pretty late. Um, um, and I didn't have enough to get a uh, coffee so my brother and I were at the Korean spa and this is not a cooking video but maybe a, if you can't afford Red Bull or, or coffee and you happen to be around a Korean spa that sells beverages um, um, get a Bacchus D. I know this is a like a Bacchus D commercial. This is um, basically Red Bull, but in the, it's kind of like, um, I guess, I don't know if this is a good example, but like um, how people um, sip codeine or lean. This is like the pure form of Red Bull. It's the, the syrup kind of. And so this is kind of like I get bubbly water. So what I do is I just That's it. It's like a it's like um It's like um Red Bull in a way. It's like um just like my homemade fried rice. Okay, that's all I got. I don't have a dream interpretation.